So the new map on Chimps Mode is pretty hard, Peninsula. So let's do it. I have failed a couple times on Chimps Mode, but I assure you this time, this run is the run. I promise you guys. So the hardest part of this is the early game. There are not many good combinations, but I find what works is a sub here, and a dart monkey, and that should work for this round at least, come on. Yeah, there we go. The hardest part is the green balloons. We gotta change this sub's targeting to strong next round though. Round 7 is also pretty tough. Please beat this round, please beat this round, nope, nope, nope. That's not gonna work. Yeah, last and then strong for the second wave here. Might that work, I guess? Get all the blue moons? Yes, there we go, there we go. Perfect, perfect. And now set number two for round eight. A sub over here looks pretty fine and dandy. Let's go. Round nine is also pretty tough, even with two subs. And let me show you why. Because there's a lot of green balloons. We gotta make sure that we get all the greens down to blues for here. And then for the sub here, we just leave it on first. I think is okay. Please be okay, at least. Yeah, there we go, there we go. So sadly, we already lost our black border, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? So we're going to get a 0, zero 2 sub over here, although we might be able to get Gwen first. I'm going to go for Gwen. Pretty good combo. Let's get Gwen now. And then we're going to get an Erbers after. These next few rounds will be tough because level 1 Gwen is pretty bad. She doesn't have a lot of Pierce, but so far so good. This round is pretty hard without Cocktail, so I got to find a way to beat it without using the Cocktail. The pink balloons are what gets us. They get so damn far. Come on, Dark Monkey and Gwendolyn. Nope. There goes the blue. Let's do last, and then two last. Why not? Maybe that'll work better. Don't know though. It's kind of risky going for that kind of stuff, but we'll see. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, yeah. Two last. That is the recipe for success. So Airburst now and. What do we get next? What on earth do we get next? I think we're able to go for a Helipilot right now. Just because these next rounds aren't too bad. I mean, now that we got a sub, things are pretty decent. See that? We don't even need Gwen and the Dark Monkey for round 20. So I think we can go for a Heli. 24, we're just going to use the Fire. Easy. As much as I would not want to use Comanche this run, we kind of have to. I am not an innovator, first and foremost. So... I gotta go with what's OP. I might be good enough to find a strategy that works without using Comanche, but that's gonna take way too damn long. And considering I already failed a few times, I'm just gonna go with the easy way out. Currently only one person has shown a strategy of beating chimps on this map without using Comanche. And that was Josh. He used a lot of walls of fire, a perma spike, and a lot of other shit that I am not up for. So, let's get our heli ASAP, come on, here seems like a good spot, and continue. Lead balloons, we're just going to use Gwen's fire for this round, or will we, no no no. What we can do is just, yeah, let Gwen do fire to them, but we don't need to drop the fire, just because the helipod can clean up the rest, easy. And now let's go for a village to make our heli cheaper. Might save us some money in the long run, so why not. Fire now. Actually, what we need first before we get a village. We need a 3-0-0 sub. Reason being, on round 33 there's a lot of balloons, a lot of camos, and fire can't get all the balloons on that round. So we're just gonna drop a real quick 3-0-0 sub. It will get most of the balloons, but not all of them. But that's what Gwen's fire is for. So she'll just catch the stragglers and we should be Gucci. So wait for the yellow to pass. See, one's gonna leak, use the fire, easy. And hope to god that this sub over here can catch the rest of the yellows. There we go. And that's how you beat 33 with this strategy. And I'm thinking next we should get a 3-4-0-0. Because this will instantly decamelize anything in its path. We will get the monkey business and commerce, not yet. How about... Now? And for 40, easy. Just get a 3-0-0 Alchemist to buff the heli pilot and you're good to go. This round you need a 2-0-0 sub so that our darts on the sub can actually damage it early. And that will allow us to beat this round. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me remove this uh, kelp now, whatever this is. And we're gonna drop a Firewall Wizard 
And we're going to try to run with this defense for as long as we can. So just a 0-2-0, zero zero, that's it. So right now we need a Spectre. Yeah, Spectre, Spectre. The best way to deal with the balloons, at least in the mid rounds, is a Spectre. Even though the Spectre is really bad late game, there's really no choice that we have. Let me actually get a Morb Shove 2, 1-0-3, before we get a Spectre. This is where Shove is useful, because you can shove the Moab all the way to the front, and then once it pops into the Srams, easy, Wildfire will clean it up, gobble it up. Gobble it like people gobble up Thanksgiving dinner. Holy crap, that was close. Wow. Fire? My god. So Wall of Fire kind of failed me that time, but that's okay. We technically got two firewalls. Save our ass. Awesome. And we are now 400 bucks short. Oh my god, so close. So close. Please give us now. There we go, awesome. From now on, we're going to go straight for a 005 or 105. This defense is pretty solid. Most of the work is done by the Spectre, but we also do need that wall fire for good measures. Also this round, oh, I did not mean to use that. Spectre should deal with it solo. Don't know why I did that. See? Spectre can do it. They are strong and independent. Let me just get a Comanche defense. Might help from time to time. And now, yep, save up 37 eights. Save up all their monies for that sweet, sweet 105. And based on how I played the last couple games where I failed, we should be able to avoid it by 81, because last try I used a 204 bomb tower, and I actually missed it by 1k, 2k. This wall fires a lot cheaper and does just as much. 10k pops, pretty good. So I feel like we should be fine. 75? I think we're dead. Just kidding. I did have to panic there and use a bunch of shit, but... We are alive. So here's where it gets hard. Well, at least 77, 78, 79. And because we got so much saved up, we could use all this money for defense right now, but we gotta go for this. 10k shorts. Yeah, this wave. Uh, fire. Don't want to take any chances here. Wow. Even then with Gwen's number 10. Level 10. That was pretty, pretty tight. Anyways, this round is cash money. Look at the, look at the cash go up. That's a lot of money. Thank you, Rico Rainbows. You gotta love the Rico Rainbows, don't ya? And the VFBs, they also help give a ton of cash too. We're now 200 off, 100, come on, come on, come on. GG, good game. And I think now, we have to move our main Comanche away from the track, because if we put the Comanche in the front, it's going to actually use the Ak buffs. I think it still works like that as of 7.0, so I'm gonna go to 402 402 Alchemist, 402. And then I'm going to lock my helipad in place. Somewhere back here. Yeah, over here. Away from all the action. And now what the hell do we get? Now that we got a Comanche. It's gonna solo like for so long. Oh, we need this. Of course. We need an MIB. First and foremost. And I'm kinda thinking honestly, uh Permacyc. The Comanche might get overwhelmed, maybe a little bit. So I'm just gonna get one spike at the back to be safe. I'm also going to buff it with an Alchemist, but not yet. Just so it gives Lead Palm power, in case any DTs get really far, but really think we should be fine for DTs. The Boons are getting pretty far, see that? DTs. So I'd say a Perma Spike is definitely a good choice to add here. For that sole reason that our Comanches are struggling, even with a Alchemist. So Perma Spike now, Perma. There we go. We are going to buff with an Alchemist. A 4-0-0. 98. Okay, whatever. Let's get a sniper here. Screw it. Strong. We're gonna get a 402 because we're gonna show off that new damage. The 402 sniper now does 30 damage instead of 18. So not a huge buff, but it does still help. Also for this round, I'm just gonna use that. Wow. Loons are getting pretty far, but I'm not worried. We got Perma. We got Comanche. We got the two most OP things in this game right now. So, wait a minute. Um, I might have lied in terms of that being easy. So we need to stall, because right now, those BFBs, those EMGs are going way too fast for me. So let me get this. Sabo, as well as this guy. 013 Glue, let's go. 2k left. Let's slow down now. The earlier you slow down, the better, I guess. Give time for the spikes to regenerate. 
However, they are still getting pretty damn far, so let me use fire. Don't know if we have enough spikes, that's the issue. Is that enough spikes at the back, now that we restarted? Just a few BFBs left. Spikes, please deal with it. Don't know though. Got my finger on the settings button. If we're in danger, I'm gonna restart. Oh my god, I can't do this, no. That is so close. We need some more though. We do have 11k, restart. I know jungle jumps would have helped, maybe I should have done that at the start, ah oh, well. It's too late to reverse things, but... My strategy for being this round instead, zoo 2 4 mortar. We need to take the HP of those BFBs in half, because there's no way, no way we're beating fortifieds. We just need to relieve some pressure, and that's it. Please tell me this is enough. If it ain't enough, we need to stall, but I think it is, oh wow. That was way easier, that wasn't even close. Well then, 99 should be easy. We got our spike eating up the DTs, right? Nice, yeah. Barely even left the dance, awesome. Should I get any towers for like, extra damage? I guess why not? 004, 040, why not? Maybe do some extra damage on, on the side? An extra, I don't know, how much damage does this do? 750? Sure. Any damage is better than no damage, but let me see. Is the Comanche still enough, or is it not? Kinda slow though, hmm. Perma spike? Perma? Zoom G's? It's gonna be close. Come on Comanches, Comanches. Don't die in last round. Alright. Well there it is. Peninsula Chimps. I'm not too proud of that run, just cause I used a really OP upgrade that is probably getting nerfed, but... Either way, that is a really tough ass map. You can't use your normal strategy for the most part. Or at least... You're very limited in strategies for this one. Either way, get this map done with before 8.0 because they are going to nerf it. And for Insta, what do we got? What do we have for Insta? A tank shooter. Well, at least it's a fourth gear. I'll take it. GG.